And welcome back to the Gadget My Spot. Oh, we got lots of great news for you today. First Despair. of all, we're going to have a change up of the format here a little bit before we get into anything. We switched out Owen for Owen 2.0. Beep, boop, boop, beep. <laughs> No, uh, so we are going to switch. We're going to try this at least this week and next week and see how it goes. We're going to go to two 50-minute recordings while we get together every other week. So we're going to do an episode every week until we decide to change, but they will be shorter episodes. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think, yeah. This is the Gadget Spot where we talk about gadgets, tech, video games, and things of that ilk. Let's go ahead and introduce the panelists, which we're going to have to go through faster now since we're going to compress our time a little bit. Uh, we right here we have Owen. Hey everybody, I'm just messing with. You're the, not even talking in the mic. I'm just ch- I'm just messing with James's sound. Is that I, better? No, I, is that I, better? I, is it, I don't. Yeah. Oh, that is mine. Okay, you okay. know that sounds great. Right there. Okay. I there turned, you so go. I turned right. Jaron way off. Right. Owen, oh, just uh, shout out with your twi- Twitter handle. Hey, my name's Owen. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Technoan. All right, Jaron. Hey, what about the games you're playing? No, we're gonna do games at the end. What? Yeah, we're changing that. I wasn't prepared for this mentally. Boom. Like this oh. See, oh. The nice thing about this is all you have to do is not do it. But I, I don't know what I'm doing now. Yeah, just give your Twitter you handle. Can, you can find me on Face... No, Twitter. Oh, jeez. At Jaren. No, on... Is fi- this what it's like when I read? Yeah, <laughs> it really is. You've really thrown a wrench <laughs> oh, in Jaren's mentality oh, here. Oh, you owned yourself. You owned yourself. <laughs> hey, um, this is Jaren. Right <laughs> I'm going to make my intro just as long as previous, whether you like it or not. Uh. You Hold can on. find me on Twitter at Jaron, J A R R O N. All right, All moving right. Can along. I go? Can I go? Yes. Can you imagine James. if this is somebody's first show listening to it they and they tune in? They're like, terrible. oh my gosh, is this what the entire show's like? Yep. Even the What's people up? that are used to it probably think it's terrible at this point. My name is James. You can catch me on Twitter at JDD Jensen. All right. And uh, I'm your host, Tony. Wait, 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 what does JDD stand for? We don't have time for that anymore. Nope. Got to just blaze right past it. Just the opposite of what Smokey wanted you to do. Jeez. Yep. Check Play me with. out on Twitter at Quad T Tony or every week on The Geek Show or every other week here. Oh, wait, maybe every week here from now Ooh. on as well on The Gadget Spot. We'll see how it goes. Let us know what you think. Plot twist. Uh, let's see. Going into, uh, we got to give a shout out to our Patreon subscribers. Yeah, Jaren wasn't ready because you sped through it so fast. Jaren, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, nice. Ready. So okay. Patreon is a chance for you, dear listener, to tip us if you like us. So go to patreon.com you forward give slash us a tip. Gadget spot. If Just you the tip. if you donate six dollars or more, we read your name on the air. Also, I have an email to read that I realized that I didn't send to you guys. We'll get to that later. All right. All right. So huge shout out and thank you to AJ Jasper and David Broshinsky and Aaron Young. You are the light of our life. Whoa, my dog's barking. Was that it? Yeah, no, oh. no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> shout out to Josh Sidaway, Nickelback. What? Oh, <laughs> Hey, Nickelback, they're <laughs> subscribing. I saw you when you when you opened for Creed so many years ago. I saw them when they were the headliner one. Still, <laughs> still digging that hair. Look at this photograph. His hair's short now. Chad, Chad Kroger's, it's short. What? Yeah. Does he, um, does, does he look uh, like he lives he looks, in a trailer park? No, he looks presentable. Oh. I mean, right. not the people that live in trailer parks aren't presentable. Well, oh, they're great. Keep done going, it. keep going. Roll through it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Hardware. Adam Hex, Ryan Baker, Aaron Faulkner, Hollow Knight, which is Joe Reedy. Ooh. Hey. Yeah, he must be playing Hollow Knight. Good game. I played a little bit of it. I can't get into it. I kind of felt the same way. I mean, I could see myself getting into it, but... It's the first jumping off the ledge. I understand like it's a slow burn as far as like the narrative, yeah. but like I have a hard time. It's the same thing with uh, Red Dead Redemption. I could I, never get into it. I still can't get into I'm, that I'm one. kind of afraid uh, of those of Metroidvania games because once I'm into it, I'm into it, and that's all I do. It's weird. Are you going to complete your sleeve tattoo? Yes. Cool. All right. Uh, Going on. Thank you to Adam Foote, Spencer Knowlton. Even though he hates the Magic Mouse, Jaron is Ichiban Apple fanboy? What does that mean? (laughs) I love that name. (laughs) Ichiban. Ichiban? It's Japanese for something. I don't know. Look it up. Oh, and look it up while he's finishing I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I like the way I spell. Uh, Moving on. Ryan McQueen, Michael Beck, Jeffrey Kale, Roger Allen, Austin Beauregard. Oh, you're not ending, and I faced you off Beauregard. Conrad Southworth. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, everyone. What does Ichiban mean? Or Ikiban? Oh, I don't know. Most. I I thought you were looking at most. It means most. Oh, the most. The most. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, well, it's true. It's not true. It's totally true. It's true true because you wanted that magic mouse to work. It's true. The fact fact that it didn't 
No, here's here's why it's true. The fact that every single person that's ever used one that I know or that I've read about has said it's terrible, Jaren still believed that well, they were wrong oh, and that it could oh, actually, have been good. Yeah. No, I, I haven't read any reasons. Small, small correction on Ichiban. <laughs> it's either it's most best or my best, uh, the best one here. The best Num- Apple fanboy? I, I'll accept number one, that. Number one. Ah, uh, number one. What, number one Apple fanboy. Number one, fan number one Apple I think that's fan the boy. context this one he was going for. I will accept a best. I'm, I'm the best one. That's got to be a. Uncle I'm the best, best one. The most best one. That's got to be Uncle Squinky. He texted me this week and said he changed his Patreon name. The most best number one. The most best number one. Yep. Now you're just a person that's bad at grammar, too. <clears throat> yep. All right. Uh, awesome. Thank you very much, Patreon backers. Woo, you Apple! you rock. Whoop, you whoop, rock. Whoop, 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 whoop. And emails. Do we have any emails? If we have multiple, we'll save yes. one for the next episode. I would like to read. <clears throat> First name, Here we Lang. Go. <laughs> Message, here we go. Hey, it's Aaron. So, Aaron Lang. if ready, play... If Ready Player One technology was available, what game are you jumping into play in real life Avatar first? What? Jaren, keep <laughs> kissing Apple. I, James, love delete. Tim, would we miss you? Can I read this, please? Yep. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Lang, here we go. So if Ready Player One technology was available, what game are you jumping into? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what, what game are you jumping into to play as a real life Avatar first? Jaren, keep kissing Apple. James, for the love, delete. For the love, delete Tim World. We miss you. Oh, he means Rim World, I bet. Oh, Rim oh. World. Yeah. Oh, Tim World. I thought it was an Apple game. It's probably written, on, it's probably it's probably written on his phone. This text give it, brought to you by an Apple device, I'm sure. <laughs> Zing! Tony, congrats on your Funko find you mentioned. Oh, yeah. I finally found the buff... Uh, Summer and Rick. Well, I found it a while back, but I hadn't told is anyone. It, is it with the bench press? Or yeah. Is it, no, no, no. no. It doesn't get, have, there's one with the bench press? Yeah. No. I'm just making it up. Just get down to the bottom part. The uh, buff yeah. Summer and Rick, and it cost me $90, but I bought it anyway. Oh, gee. They're very rare. Okay, continue. I would hope oh, so. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> we'll gloss right over you that. You could have saved so many third world children with that Shut money. Shut up. So many nickels. Don't, no. and, and Owen, sure, why not? The boy is named after you. Hey, Thank you this dramatic guy. bow. Well played. Actually, the name Owen is very <clears throat> popular. It was not my whole life growing up, and now I can't go to a playground with my kids without some mother screaming Owen, and it trips me Nate. out. You get triggered. I, I have. <laughs> I've just been like, what? No, I didn't. Oh, oh, freaking <laughs> kids! All right, so we'll answer the question: What is the first game you jump into in Ready Player One Uncharted. style? Well, obviously for Jaren, and then well, Star Wars. It just depends. Tetris. On the, it depends on the Tetris. game. Tetris. Well, if you think about it, look at how deep and rich World of Warcraft would be. You can do Tetris already. Yeah. But yeah. Did you really say t- you're playing Tetris in real life every time you go camping, dude? Yeah, I could just jump in though. That's what I would jump into. Would you be one of the pieces? Yep. Would you be the an L? Big L. L. The big L. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe, or maybe the. The flat one with one in the middle. What's that? So what, the what's the T shape? The T shape. Oh, what's yeah. the thing that's sticking outside of you? It's my either my huge nose or my huge feet. Ah, that's a protuberance. Very good answer. Boom. Yeah. Jaron was trying to lead you astray. With I know. Perhaps a not safe for work. Don't answer. you put words in my that's mouth? What, that's why saying. my runner up was the T shape because yeah. I was gonna. But then to- I didn't want to give. I him think that. Tony would be the line because he's so tall. I'd be the straight line, yeah, for sure. Uh, I'd be. See. I'd be that annoying piece. The, the square. Uh, no, the the, the Z shaped. Yeah. What? Which yeah. one? The green one or the red one? They're no, the they reverse, face different yeah. ways. Yeah. yeah, they do. Really? Yeah, they do. Oh, red one. Hmm. Interesting. I would probably go into Borderlands Three. Ah, oh, I'm very. The game's not even out yet. Okay, I lied. There's a lot of chaos I, there. I would not go into. Bo- okay, maybe. But actually, I'd probably go into Cyberpunk 2077. Ooh, preemptively. Yeah. yeah that, that's too scary for me. I Screw would, you, Lang. I I'd go into it. RimWorld. I'd go into RimWorld, and I'd live there with all the workshop... Uh, I uh, believe you mean Tim World. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I would go there, and I would live there for hours. Hours that I don't have to play a game. All right. Well, cool. Thanks for writing in, Aaron. And uh, is that is that, are we all done with the emails this week? That's all I got. Unless we want to talk about the other thing. What's the other thing? I don't know what that means. That doesn't mean anything. What is that? (laughs) The bio. Oh, no, not yet. Okay. Uh, We haven't done anything yet with that. Well, I guess we could. we could talk about it. Okay, so uh, this was pretty cool. Um, I guess one of you awesome listeners 
or at least one of you, bought some bio bidet gear. And when they asked, where did you hear about us? You said the gadget spot. We, we love you, whoever you are. <laughs> And so much. S- and so BioBidet has contacted us and asked if they wanted if we wanted to partner with them. <laughs> so we're Jan, oh, Jan, Jan. Yes. Me and Jaren just the most, the most excited. The most random I never in a million years would have thought like, hey, maybe we can get BioBidet as a sponsor. It was my story. I think it's great. I'm sure it was oh, a yeah. huge factor. It was, it was the it was the palm tree in the swamp. So story. we we have been a little bit slow about responding to them because they have some we told them we do want to spo- we do want to partner up, but uh we need to get them some more information so that they can. They have some stuff they want us to review. Yeah, and they're gonna and they're gonna give us like a partner code. So if anyone decides to buy anything and put us in as their referral, we get a little kickback. So uh, yeah, I I hundred percent recommend a bidet, but please wait till we have the referral code. Referral code. We want to get your bums clean. Yeah, it really has been like the greatest. I have well, the most used gadget. Well, I've think ever of it this had. way. Think of it this way. If you're out walking your dog, right, and your dog poops. And you go down to pick up the poop, and you accidentally stumble, and your hand goes in your dog's poop. Where are you gonna going to take a paper towel, like a dry one, and wipe off the poop off your hand? Yeah. Or are you going to put it in the sink? Exactly. Most most people use peanut butter for that analogy. Jared yeah, would exactly. probably just cut off his hand. Most people use. I would. Most people say peanut butter and carpet, but yeah. uh, that works too. Yours, yours you ever is, stand yours up when you super, wipe? Super graphic and and what? and very good. Yes. But, you ever uh, stand up when you wipe? It's like. Smushes the sandwich okay. together. I'm yep. in the process of trying to sell my house and move, so I don't, I, I can't review anything right now because I don't want to install stuff and then have to uninstall it and to reinstall be fair, the it seat later. Took, the seat took seven minutes. Yeah, so. really, it's super yeah. easy. Yeah, okay, maybe I'll look at it. The, but, the worst part was cleaning but up I, before you install it. I am. Uh, Were you talking off. about wiping? You take the old suit off and you're like, oh, yeah. yeah. You figure out underneath the little cap area it's where the like, bolt is. I don't want to put this anywhere in my house without c- completely cleaning it. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, we're excited for that, and uh, I'm excited to try out some bidet action because I've always wanted to, but never. Have you never ever done no, a bidet? Never used one. Ever? Ever? Ooh, good luck! It's a life changer. Don't the, listen to him at all. The no, no, first no. time You're is skipping. a thrill. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. My would finger, you call it a cool rush? Yes. <laughs> Let's put it this way: a lot of guys can't be wrong. Well, and, that's what and, I'm saying. Like, and like Jared and I have said, we don't know how they manufacture the targeting, but. They nailed pretty, it. Pretty dead spot. Yeah. Dead it's like on, I've huh? said before. Bidets are a cure for racism. Hmm. I don't, I don't think it. you've ever said that. Have I, I not? Th- have I, I th- never <laughs> said this? Oh, okay, cool. Let me go into this. No, okay. No, I so think you did. I was trying, I was trying to gloss over it. Dead center every time, which shows that we all are of the same. At least in one, people. one area. I, yeah. I feel we're worse. All, we're all people. I, I feel worse for the market researcher who had to develop that than the Facebook <laughs> moderators. <laughs> yep. how, how many? I don't know. Facebook I, moderators. How many bum holes did he have to see? <laughs> Look at um, measure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, we're really excited <laughs> Excuse for that. We'll have, me, your butt looks different. Can I measure? We'll hey have there. more news and uh, stuff on that later on. Um, <laughs> not next episode, but maybe the week after. Uh, All right. Cool. Um, let's see. Before we get too far past I it, think have, we're, you, have you guys ever seen what it looks like with the old? Uh, what is it? Uh, the Xbox One. Uh, facial recognition thing, like when it comes up Connect. with all those dots Connect. on your face. Yeah, yeah. You imagine just that on your butt. So you sit down, all those dots. You, you know, that's, ex- that's exactly what the iPhone does with facial recognition and the iPad Pro. Yeah. If you were to turn what? If you were to turn on a UV light while you're doing facial recognition, you would see all the little dots on your face. Yeah. Or just get a video camera and record it while you. Or that, yeah. yeah. What? Uh-huh. Yeah, for real. It, it projects it right onto your face and gets an accurate hey, map. The new Pixel Four is going to have that. Yeah, yeah there rumors. Well, no, well, they released it. They they released that info. They said they're going to have a face a face, face recognition recognition something. scanning no more thingy. No, no and more that's why print no fingerprint reader. And that's right. why it's going to have a a whole bezel across the top because they're <laughs> supposedly packing in more tech even than the iPhone one. So are you going to finally accept this technology now that Google's on board? I, I put that. No, I accepted no. it when I got an iPad Pro. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I actually put that. That's actually one of my comments in the notes is that I I will admit. Apple got it right on the uh, on the face of recognition. Aha! Nothing else but that that one thing. You look like I, you died a little bit. I want I both. Honestly, I want both. I want a fingerprint scanner underneath the glass, yeah. 
and I want facial recognition. Both would be nice. That'd be nice. The majority of the time, I'd want facial recognition, but for the times that's not too great. Exactly. Does it work when in the dark? Different. Since it's IR, does it work in the dark? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. It works in pitch black. I want yeah. it to have a little needle on the side, so like when it's really not working, I put it on my thigh, just like so, and it shoots it should, the needle into me, and it yeah, it, it should it be scans blood, my DNA. Yeah, it should be blood tested. It's like one hundred percent generic. It should white be guy. bodily fluid. I would say like you spit on your phone every or time. Anything. I, I would say that you're going too far, but I think you're going just far enough. Yep, yeah. yep. It's gonna be it's gonna be able to tell your ancestry. So what what did happen to your phone? That. Oh, um, <laughs> you got the green screen of death or something. Yeah. So it looked like I'd go into hyperspace every time that I tried to wake my phone. So I noticed like well, two weeks ago fun. that my facial recognition stopped working, and apparently it's something with the display. But uh, mine did that once. I had to send it back, and they gave me. A new did one. you get to the point where, like, when you would wake it up, it'd have a couple like green dots on the side? No, it's just the IR blaster stopped working on it, and so it wouldn't recognize my face anymore. Uh, see, mine started very subtly. So like, if this is my phone, so I'm look, I'm, I'm pointing to my iPad and. Uh, on the right hand side, kind of where your wake is. So when I'd wake it up, um, it it just has some green lines right there. So that's how it started out, and then eventually it just progressed to I updated to the latest OS, and it completely like bricked my phone. Ooh. So yeah, I don't have a phone through like Friday. Hmm. How's Which I don't been? mind. It's it's great. I have an iPad, well, so I, mean, I have yeah, access you, to the internet. You have everything on your iPad except for uh, phone calls. No, no, no. I've gotten stuff since sending my phone in i've gotten excuses for not actually getting back to people. how about two-factor authentication what do you do about that oh, i don't give a crap okay you so don't do you that. couldn't call 911 if you had to hmm. why are we saying this out loud just because we're going to come talk to you later i, I still got this <laughs> stop help me get out of my house <laughs> just gonna go, you're gonna go retro i really just do yelling. sleep with a gun next to my bed huh like within arm's reach, so just a heads oh, up. Loaded? Is it locked? Oh yeah, one hundred percent loaded. Okay. Why would you not? No, have it's it not. Loaded? It's not locked. They throw it at him. Yeah, it's, you oh. might as well just sleep with a rock next to your bed at that, that point. Sounds cheaper. It's not like directly <laughs> next to my true. bed. It's in a place that Dwayne I know where Johnson? it's at. Throw the rock at him. <laughs> I'd, I'd sleep, sleep next rock? to Dwayne Johnson. I would not. Not comfortably. This dude looks like a bed hog. Yeah, <laughs> he's well, a big depends. fella. What size of bed are we talking? Are we talking queen or better? Take up a lot of room. I California a, King? I take up a whole bed. I could see him in a queen. I could see him producing a lot of heat. I don't think that would be comfortable <laughs> at all. Mm-mm, and are we talking like memory foam? I don't know. No, you'd want to have definitely one of the ones that has the uh, gel cooling topper. Mm-hmm. So you know how most utensils, like when you buy silverware, it comes with the smaller and the larger stuff? Like you got smaller spoons, yeah, yeah. larger spoons. Do you think he just tosses the smaller utensils every time or he donates them? Well, no, he's got a family with... Smaller children yeah, and stuff like kids. that. He's got normal sized kids. Are you sure about that though? Yeah. Have you seen his normal sized kids? He's Probably. posted pictures on Instagram, I think. What, yeah. what are the rock people in sure. Zelda? Uh, Gorons. Gorons. Yeah. Do they do they eat metal, or am I imagining that they eat rocks? Oh, okay. The Gorons do. Don't they eat rocks? I'm I'm currently in the process of replaying Zelda, and I'm almost stopped at the Great Plateau because it's such a big game. It is big. I thought they ate rocks. They do. I think they do. Mm. They give you big, big swords. The Goron sword. That's true. They do. Uh, All right. So, most important thing (laughs) that you're going to hear about uh, in this episode, by far, is the news that, uh, if you haven't heard already, Tool Uh, is available for streaming on all streaming services. Swing your body. That's not Tool. What is that? That's (laughs) like the band Tool? (laughs) The band Tool. Oh, sorry. That was the Cranberries. James got it confused with acting like a Tool. Ah. Oh. They've been yeah. uh, one burn. of <laughs> one of, if not the last big, big ish name uh, Hold band outs? holdouts for streaming. Garth Brooks made his own streaming service. Yeah, <laughs> Brooks. Uh, was it called Ghost something? So did yeah, it's uh, Go Brooks. I think uh, Jay Z did too. Garth, with title. Garth, yeah, Garth it's Beats. Yeah, no. Title. Was it? Was that Jay? Yeah, that was Jay Z. Beats was Dr. Dre. Yeah. Oh, okay, sure. So, uh, so his other bands were they on streaming services already? Yeah, yeah, they were. So why not Tool? I don't know. Um, it might have been something with the whole band needing a specific say in it or something, but Pucifer, which is uh, Maynard James Keenan's solo stuff, has been on streaming for a long time. Hold on. Can we just and point out that he just said his whole name as if he actually knows what he's talking about? Go ahead, Tony. I, I knew his name was Maynard James Keenan. Yeah, that's not that weird. Yeah. Really? Maynard. Uh-huh. You're the weird one here. Mm-hmm. I only just call him Maynard. I only know 46 and 2 by Tool. I mean, truth be told, that's the only it's song. It's a great song, by the way. Bam, 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 yeah. bam, bam. Uh, and then, uh, was oh, he does A Perfect Circle, which uh, is, uh, he's the singer for that band, um, but it's not like a solo project for him or anything. Does he play all the instruments? No. For his in, solo stuff? In Pucifer, I 
honestly don't know if he plays all the instruments or not. I haven't done enough research, but he has guest artists as well that work with him. Like Moby? No, not Moby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't even remember. But Moby is. Uh, yeah, so really, really cool stuff. If you're a Tool fan, which I, they're my favorite band. Uh, so I was really excited to hear that they were on all the streaming services to uh, help hype and get ready for the release of their next album, August 30th. Did I sell you Lateralis? No, you just gave it to me. I did? I was a nice person once upon a that time. Once upon not, a time, yeah. That does not sound like Jaron at all. I know, right? He was going to throw it away. He was. He didn't want it. He said, I he's don't like, want this anymore. Well, he's like, oh, it's going to fill up my garbage can. <laughs> Tony will take it. But uh, yeah, so their new album coming out called, uh, I think it's called Fear and Oculum. I forget off the top of my head. No, it's Fear and Oculus. They're doing a branding thing. Oh, n- no. Um, but yeah, it's uh, coming, you, coming out on the 30th. <laughs> and so I'm pretty excited for that. It'll also be on streaming, obviously. Uh, let's see. I'm just excited for the team up with Taceway. So that is never going to happen. Uh, and. But there is a weird, someone made a mashup of Tool and uh, Justin Bieber song because there was some weird drama. That sounds like baby, an abomination. Baby, it does, baby, baby, it does baby, sound like baby, a baby, baby. crazy abomination, a lot like what James was just doing. Baby, baby. Abomination's his middle name. It is, actually. Well, it's David, I mean, but it's close. All right, uh, let's talk about some future tech, which is more of a reality right now than people realize. Uh, hoverboards. The French inventor of of a quote unquote hoverboard. It's basically like this is Frank Zapata. Yeah, Frank this, Zapata. This is, a, this is a throwback for us. It's I, more like wanted, it's not just Frank. It's Frankie Zapata. Oh, yeah, Frankie. Frankie. That Frankie. makes it so much cooler. If you ever wanted to hear an Italian dude scream for twenty two minutes straight, <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he's French. We is just, he really? We yeah, just he, said, yeah. He, he how, how can a French person be so brave? I don't know. La oui. He is. He he is a uh, buck in the mold. Definitely a black sheep. <laughs> but uh, good for him. The uh, um, hoverboard he runs that he invented, it, it's almost more like a goblin glider it is. than yeah. a hoverboard, you know, from Spider-Man. It, it looks like it, kind of. Just well, like the way he stands on it. Yeah. It's just like, and how he leans uh-huh. into movement and everything. So everybody, some of the comments online have been like, oh, that'd be so fun. And one of the last times we reported on him, because we kind of follow this story, is that he was like, uh, this is not easy. Oh, there yeah. Is, no. He's like, he's like the stabilization up there takes every ounce of my control with my own body yeah. to keep it like from just, just flying off. Flipping over. Exactly. You know, like, and the reason this, uh, this article is relevant today is because, Jaron. He crossed the English Channel on a hoverboard. Flew across English 22 miles. He, Even, eventually. He, he reached up to 106 miles per hour. He, he had to stop in the middle to get re- refueled up. Because uh, it's not very efficient. Oh, that's what I was wondering. Why, if he got 105 miles an hour, and they said he did it in 22 minutes, I was like, that doesn't make sense. Up so. to yeah, so he, he probably hit that just for a little bit, and then Backed slowed off. back down. Man, yeah. You would just, just hit the record. Skip on the water if you hit the water. He oh, did. Yeah. He did hit the water ten his, days earlier. His first yeah, try. His first attempt. Yeah. He he hit the water. Well, when he went down to refuel, he missed the boat and went into the water oh. by millimeter by millimeters. He tumbled into the Oof, water. Man. So they were kind of nervous, right, about this trip because. Uh, his second attempt, and it was the board that went in the water. Oh, it was the same one. Yeah, oh, so they were that. worried about Ooh. about uh, components and stuff. Go. So you would think that a computer would do most of the stabilization for you, unless he hasn't developed that part yet. Well, I think a computer would definitely be able to do it, but it's actuating motors that would actually do the stability. And yeah. I think that thing is pretty much just like it has two to two big fans. It's, yeah, yeah, so it has you to know what I mean. Turbi- turbines have to spin up. Yeah. And so they don't make micro changes very well. Right. So they can make oh, adjustments see. over a longer period of time. So you'd have to have like a bigger gyrator that's why he, in that's it. Why he, uh, that's why he crashed the first time. The boat was a little too small. And he said, I underestimated how my stopping time. Yeah. And so he tried to slow down, which means he had to lean backwards and throttle down. That's cause, crazy. Because he has to change the, 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 the projection of thrust to forward and then also let up on the gas without... Did just he not cutting watch it out. Iron Man 1? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know why they're not in his palm. There's been a bunch of these type of things now. There's the, Have you seen the, the jet the hand yeah, ones? The yeah. jet hand ones? Yeah. No, no. He, actually, I read that the reason why he didn't do any in his palm is because it would literally like break his arm. Like, yeah. You so have to have so imagine, like, somebody doing, it's, imagine somebody doing the rings, the Olympic rings. Yeah. That's what that arm ones are and like. And there is one. Yeah. There is a guy out there who has invented some. that yeah. go. It's two, two yeah. jets on each arm. Yeah. No, no, I've hand. seen that one, but yeah. that one's more of a glorified falling. 
No, well, I mean, he, he's got he like flies. he's got like an airplane thing. He he no, flies. No, 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 not he's the, not the, falling down. That's the jetpack like one. Hovering, yeah, yeah, he is. He's not, they're, what? They're fist ones. They're fist ones. Yeah. Not the guy that I've seen the one. You're oh, not about the jet. Yeah, not the jetpack. The, the jet the glider one with this, on the superhero show. No, not the jet glider because there's there's those two. He's got to like start in an airplane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that one. But then he can fly for hours. Yeah. Or well, yeah. Let's not not that long. But he can he can fly for a while because he's. He didn't have to use it. We any got a test pilot energy. right here. Why don't we just build one? We yeah. have the capability. Jaren, you down? Okay. You want to fly that? Uh-huh. See? See how fast so he did? So he Noise. didn't make it the first time. He splashed in the water. And uh, they they let him do it again the next time they got a bigger boat for the halfway point to refuel. Oh. And the French. <laughs> the thing is that he tumbled. So the English Channel is a huge shipping lane. Right. And so there was tons of boats oh my around. Gosh. That were like diverted to try and get him out. Yeah, and to save the device. Yeah, that's got it. Anyway, um, and also I didn't know this from before when we were talking about it before. His maiden. So when he first created the prototype, mm-hmm. he lost two fingers. In what his, in his garage? I didn't know sucked that. Sucked into the turbine. Oh my god! Because he probably went, man, that's a lot of suck. <laughs> <laughs> Lost, <laughs> lost two what fingers. Think about like, it, that's like totally a guy because, thing. Yeah, how many of you that's haven't a like lot of suction yeah, power? How, how many people haven't been like, oh man, that turbine is really going. I wonder if it <laughs> just meat grinder. Well, what? I wouldn't even do that. Think about every time you like you start up your vacuum cleaner, you taking your lips. Yeah, and you're just like. Yeah. Were they able to reattach the fingers? I think they're gone. Oh wow! I mean, that that turns into hamburger in the turbine, Ew. or less. Ew. Probably just pink spray Ew. out the other end. <laughs> you had to bring up food, didn't you? I was going to say, no, speaking hungry. speaking of hamburger, <laughs> uh, the Impossible Burger... It's going, uh, out world, going out worldwide? Two, two things about the Impossible Burger. A, Burger King is rolling it out nationwide. Will you explain so, what it is? So you'll be able to get the uh, meatless Whopper. And this is Impossible... Made meat. of Impossible this is, 2.0. This, this is Impossible 2.0, which is competitors beyond meat, which everybody, the food critics I've heard have been on the Impossible 2.0 side of the line as far as taste, yeah. and, taste and texture. Well, everything I've seen so far basically says if you're looking at a patty, Impossible Burger is the way to go. Beyond Meat was not good. I did not like it. Yeah, but if you're doing like ground meat substitute, I heard Beyond like Meat's tacos. pretty good. Yeah, like for they Del have, Taco has Beyond the, Meat. Yeah, they have the DL. The See, Del Taco. Beyond Meat, it had the texture of meat, but then there was like this weird, it was un, the uncanny valley of meat. Oh, I thought. really? Yeah. Plant yeah. Plant Gross. Uh-huh. Beats. So yeah, the Impossible Foods finally gets FDA approval, so now they can sell it nationwide in grocery stores like mm. Beyond Meat because Beyond yeah. Meat's already in grocery stores. I will probably never buy it at least for the next few years from a grocery store, but I'll go try it out at Burger King. I'm yeah, I, I'm curious. I, I want to try it out. So the the thing that needed to be approved was soy leg him a green goblin. <laughs> Uh, hemoglobin. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's it. Oh. Leg hemoglobin. So that's pr- uh, that's probably the part of it that makes it uh, look like it bleeds, that's like a point. like a real burger. Yeah. The yeah. Hemoglobin. Yeah. Yep. Blood. Interesting. Interesting. So that's pretty cool. I honestly, I'm I'm all for uh, meat substitute options because there's a lot of people out there that can't digest meat well, that have problems with allergies to meat and whatnot, not like that, as well as. We have a huge, nobody talks about this very often. We have a huge problem in our country, especially with uh, cattle farms. Yeah. We don't talk about it because it's delicious, Tony. That's exactly, that's, you're that's exactly, exactly right. Yep. Uh, the cattle farms in the U.S. produce so much methane gas from cow farts and cow poop that it is like the number two uh, contributor to greenhouse gases in the world. I'm not exaggerating. And so if we can, you know, use fake meat for things like burgers and taco meat and stuff like that and cut down on the amount of cows that we produce, it's going to help a lot to bring down greenhouse gases. Well, now, on the on the same, on the other side of that coin, you're never going to replace a no. steak yeah. with like Beyond Meat or whatever. Right. They're never going to get the texture. There, There's a possibility, I think, in the future for like uh, lab-grown meats to replace steaks and well, stuff and like that. The- but... But meat the, substitute for stuff like a steak yeah, or or uh, anything any cut of Kobe, meat. Kobe, can you imagine replacing uh, yeah, Kobe? Right, Kobe, Kobe Yag, Wagyu, or like a mm. pot uh, roast, have you ever a rump had roast, Kobe or anything meat. like that. Mm-hmm. I had it in Japan. Yeah, it's the best thing your mouth has ever felt. Oh right? My God, I want to try it's a it. So feeling bad. and a taste. It feels so, like what I feel like a lot of money also feels yes, like. Yeah, that's marketing. So I don't think we'll ever get rid of cow farms by any stretch or stop using cattle for food. But if we can cut down on the amount of that to replace the stuff that you won't tell a difference on, but I'm, I'm bet- all for it. I'm betting ground beef 
is their main export for cow. Oh yeah, for like, sure. So it's going to have a huge impact. And 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 I'm surprised, but not really. But there's a a big push by cattle farmers against the you know lobbying against the the approvals and things that impossible. They've Why would a, you be surprised? Yeah, I'm just saying capitalism. <laughs> capitalism in full force. It oh, is yeah. alive and yeah. well for sure. But uh, but there's not a lot of technology changes in cattle farming over the last. No. Century. I mean, there. I mean, do you think that's because of PETA? I think like, it's just because no. cows no. have to grow. Them down. I think cows just have to grow. No, there there Still. have been a lot of changes. They pretty much just eat corn now, mm. which is one of the, the big, big contributors to the to yeah. the methane uh-huh. that they produce. I read an article that said if you were to introduce uh, some seaweed into cows' diet, it would decrease methane gas production by sixty percent on that cow. Or they can just eat grass. Does grass not produce methane? Not nearly as much. Oh, there you go. Even that's then, right. but that's grass thing, right? is so much more expensive than corn. Well, you can't stick five thousand cows in a two-acre lot yeah, exactly. and have them eat grass. That's true. Is that why grass-fed wagyu yeah. is yeah. better? Yeah, that's why it's more expensive. Oh, interesting. Because they they eat grass and it's it requires more land, a lot more work. The one other thing that they could do that uh, it would require quite an investment on most of these farms part is you can set up. In the indoor areas for these cows, methane collectors on the ceiling. There's been some that <laughs> I'm have done serious, that and they run the heat for exactly their farm. because you know, that methane is a, is great biofuel. to burn to create energy. Yeah. Speaking of like bio Bur- domes, burning the methane doesn't create the the greenhouse gas just like it does releasing it in the air. One of those in they my talk room. About <laughs> you power your whole house. I could. <laughs> Me too, actually. <laughs> they talked about that, but the only downside to that would be is then the cows have to live in that right. biosphere. Exactly. And then yeah, you're and basically no living either. in a garage where your car turns on. Yeah. So that's pretty much what they do right now, anyway. Even more so, they wouldn't yeah. let them out. You know. Interesting stuff. I'm I'm excited for when, do, uh, when does that go live? Impossible means so it gives them permission effective September fourth. Ooh, okay. oh, that's so, uh, only a month away. Yeah, yeah, so whenever they can distribute it to the grocery stores and get I'm it going, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the Whopper. I've been holding off because whenever I eat fast food, I'm always in a really like desperately hungry mood, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> this moment, yeah, yeah, I, I, get I get one with chance an, with an experiment. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> so, needless to say, I am excited for Cyberpunk. 20 whatever whatever. Uh you should be cuz yep. it looks amazing. Okay, cool. Uh did you have anything else you wanted to add to that? No 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 no. Oh, it okay. just seems like we're getting closer and closer to that world with this bio meat. Yes. Well, fix your mic. The bio soy meat. Um oh, All yeah. right. Yeah. Also, um we have a review here from Oh, and which one do you want to review this episode? On do you want to review the Igloo Home Padlock? Smart um, padlock or the Pamu slides? Let's do the Pamus this time. I brought them with you guys. We kind of talked about and played with them uh, before we got started here. So we did this for the Thrifty 50 for last month. Yeah. And uh, fool you once, <laughs> fool yeah. you twice. Jaren, Jaren made me do it by saying, Oh, and you should do it for your Thrifty 50. And I said, Oh, yeah. And I totally just did it. At that point, um, you had no defense. I was yeah, you could have been a fool and bought the Stadia. Yeah. Oh. Before you learned about. Quick update yeah. on that. I canceled mine yesterday. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You did. I straight up canceled it. Wow. It looks so terrible now. Uh, With all the updates they've been releasing about how it's not going to be like a Netflix situation, you you might get up to one game every month, maybe, and the limitations from, from the network. You'll play what we tell you to side. play. Yeah, that's and so screw it. So nope. I don't know how I'll, to cancel it. I'll try it out when it's free. <laughs> James is gonna is gonna be our beta <laughs> tester on it. Cause just because I don't know how to cancel it. I don't know. That's fine. Do. I don't care why. The point is you are. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care. All right, back to the Pamu slides. So the Pamu slides came. Uh so the these ones if you remember earlier, uh we did the Pamu scrolls. Yes. And I bought some uh, of those too. What do you think of those, Tony? Well, the Pamu scrolls. I felt pretty bad because several people bought them on my recommendation. <laughs> And I, in turn, recommended them to other people based on your recommendation or oh, my recommendation. This is not going anyway, well. <laughs> not to not to exponentially make that worse. The only thing that I had going for it was they were cheap. I think they were like thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. So, I've so I didn't that. feel too bad. Um, my problem with those ones is the connection, right? And so it was bad. The they sounded okay, yeah, though. They were, that was you know? I had no problem with the sound, but the connection was garbage. So and it's funny how they just reversed that position. Now they have reversed <laughs> that position, but now the sound is terrible because okay. So let me tell you, the Pamu slides, they're not as they're not what they're cut out to be. 
I didn't. I didn't like them as much as my jobbers. In so fact, you, really, tried. because you're selling them so high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they so sound so great. They, uh, <laughs> I, the things I like about them is the design. They're kind of like a cool black AirPod. Okay. So they did have. The I design. like the look of it. Yeah, the look is great. The build quality feels okay, right? Okay is a good word, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I mean, not not super. How great. does it feel I mean, any better or worse than AirPod? AirPod straight plastic. No, the the plastic doesn't feel as good as the AirPod plastic. Oh, it's not uh, glossy. That's my, what Jaren's saying. And my problem and the pairing worked great. And one of the things I did test is that the the wireless chart or the the Bluetooth signal, it says they have Bluetooth five zero. Right. Is fantastic. I was able to, in fact, better than my Jabros. I really? Was to, mm-hmm, I was able to walk through my entire house. Wow. And I have... All 3,500 feet. Not that much. All 2,900 feet. Still north. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, but so, but the connection was really good. They paired really well. Um, and the, the experience with pairing them is, was great. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my problem was the seal. So the, the seal... The ear the, seal. The ear seal. They come with silicone tips. But the ear seal... The... the piece of plastic that the that the tips go on is oblong so it's yeah, it's, it's oval, oval shape right and i don't know if they did that on purpose to 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 make an air gap so that you so they're more like an i i like airpods what do you think no, i don't think so because airpods here's they, what it, it's, they, it sounds like it has a full range of uh like they were of designed, audio yeah, yeah they, they were designed to do that whereas these i was shocked at how bad they sounded yeah. when i put them in my ear yeah so I when you put them in if without the ear seal you lose. They, they're not super great. Here's here's what I think after testing them out and thinking about it now for a little bit. I think you're right about the uh, the problem with the oval shaped uh, connector that the tip goes over. But the problem isn't that it's oval shaped. The problem is that the ear tips they put in there are such cheap, thin they are silicone thin. Yeah. or rubber, whatever they are, that it does take the shape. Of yeah. the oval, whereas if you were to have higher quality thick silicone, it would stop taking the shape of the oval after the after the connection after the connection, and right. they would stay around and it would sit in your Which ear better. My question to them is then why the oval? Like what design? Yeah, that's did a good that question. Have, they right? saved some money, maybe. I have no I, idea. There are how would that have saved cheaper? money? Yeah, that's they just. I, don't I think know. like somebody in CAD was like, "Oops, oh, uh, oh, that already went out to manufacturing." Crap. Okay, well. Anyway, so the sound was good when I got it to seal, which, like Jaron, I could get it to seal better in one ear than the other, but that was, I think, my ear shape. Mm-hmm. Uh, which, which ear did it seal better? So my, mine seals better on the left ear. Oh, mine seals better on the right. Yeah. Okay. And so I was able to get it to seal. I want to seal. Oh, how different we are. Once, <laughs> once we sealed. <laughs> yes, James. Yeah. Um, once wow, you, you totally <laughs> derailed Owen. Once, I was just, I'm, I'm going to save that and play it in my head for later and be like, you know what? People have different ear canals. You know how much that makes us different? <laughs> anyway. Uh, um, so, I've been talking about that for years. But then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ears. I, e- e- ears. I love ears. hanging out with you guys. You guys are the best. Anyway, so I think that was my one complaint. I didn't really get to test them fully with the sound because I couldn't get good sound seal. Right. And I, that makes and, sense. And it bugged me enough that I was like, I'm because I was trying to use them, and like, in my daily stuff, and the, they didn't fall out. You mm-hmm. know, they're they're really good design there. The touch controls on each side are very they're they're basic, but they do their job. You are basic. Um, the battery life <laughs> is that. the battery life is actually almost what they advertised, which was something. It was it was like was it what like eight hours. Yeah. Does and, it drain when it's in the case? Um, I didn't check that because i i that was the other problem with the scrolls they the palm of scrolls yeah, they always were draining in the case you it didn't what? stop charging once the earbud was full it would continue to try yeah. and charge and drain the battery yep. in the case as well yep so you'd pick it up and they'd be toast i think you know this what? was the same before you get too far past it that is something i got to give props to my airpods man okay they were at zero no joke put them in the little carrying case 5 minutes later at like 100% i was blown away at how fast those I things charge. I didn't check a recharge solid product. It yeah. also makes me think it's giving me some kind of head cancer. Oh, okay. That it charges it a, that fast. It's the same thing with my Power Beats Pros. I, it gives I head cancer? It does. No, uh, it does not, to my knowledge. But uh, I put, for whatever reason, one of them was dead and the other one wasn't. I don't think I seeded it right or something uh-huh. when I put it in the case last time. But I put the dead one in and... Fifteen minutes later, I had a half a half a charge. See, and that's insane. And that lasts, and so, on those that lasts four hours. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Apple was two or three years ahead when they 
put out the AirPods, but they've done nothing with them since. But that true. is one thing. And give, it makes me so mad. Give them a smaller like dongle on the end. That's all I want. Yeah, Just something I, smaller. I, I don't care about that. I, I'm I'm going Sony for my next. Wireless what, what do you want to see from the next AirPod then? Uh, better battery life mainly. Really? Yeah. I, lower, it's not lower, bad, I don't really care lower about hang that. Down, lower hang down. I, you I, want a lower hang down? I don't care about like, that. No, not longer, but like shorter. They, oh, smaller hang down. Smaller. It, it would be cool yeah. too if they had a in ear canal option. Uh, I'm not saying the open ear is bad. I actually like that design, but it would be cool if they had another option as well. If you well. could do both in the same one, that'd yeah. be neat. You do could still path. put rubber on it. Some yeah. path what about path. what about that? What if they did like a rubber exterior versus a plastic? So it's still like open ear, but it's got the rubber to grip well, on your actually, skin a little bit. I, I would like that. I looked into this actually. There are some uh, rubber tips you can buy from third parties that so you would uh, buy just the tip. Just by the tip. Just the it tip. It goes over the AirPod. So it's a condom for an AirPod. It does. And but it has a silicone style tip after that. It doesn't work in the charging case though. But that's How the problem that is you put them in the charging case yeah. and they don't fit. How does yeah. that work with people that have a lot of earwax? Do I just like put it on and then say, Here you go? So it's like a latex glove for your hmm. Yeah, you could, I guess. Gross. So just two, gonna pull some of that earwax out. So two more three more things about the Yes, Pamu's yes, the Pamu. Sorry, okay. we got sidetracked. So the price on these was seventy two. Right, not not unreasonable. Not, That's pretty good price. Yeah, for what they were, uh, that was the Kickstarter price. So or the Indiegogo price. So they'll say they probably told you something like it's a regular price will be two hundred bucks. Yeah, or something. They, they sell. They say that this is forty percent off, is what they were saying. Yeah. So you're well, they said like the same thing about the scrolls, and they're still dirt cheap. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> can you other, buy them on Amazon? Uh, you can buy them on. I don't know about Amazon, but you can get them on like Gearbest and. Uh, Alibaba, stuff like that. So basically, they've got a really good marketing campaign, and they've got a lot of people on board that boost their products. Mm -hmm. Um, That's how they get so much publicity. But I opted for the bigger, the more expensive one. This one actually has the wireless charging. Okay. So this thing is also its own power bank, the case itself. And I used it to charge my wife's phone. We charged the Pamu Scrolls. Previously talked (laughs) about Pamu Scrolls. Use um, one bad earphone to charge the other bad yeah, earphone. Yeah. They they complement <laughs> each other. I don't I don't know why they did that, but um, they don't charge themselves. So you so, can't put that on a wireless charger no, and have it. The charged. design was to charge your phone while you have them connected. That seems weird. So they're not wireless. They're not wired. Like there's no wireless tech to charge the headphones on the outside of the case. You flip the case, so you put it into into the, the mode. The mode, yeah. Double charging clicking. mode. Charging mode. Then you flip the case over on a not flat surface, which is wobbly, mm-hmm. and you have to put your phone on the flat surface on the back. And you it has say to on sit a there. not flat surface? Well, because the case is domed. Yeah. Do you, have a lot of, domed. do you have a lot of not flat surfaces no, that he's you saying, place things on? No, he's saying the case is not flat. The case, yeah. So the, <gasps> It so wobbles. The, the case is... The case I was making is, fun of you. I know you were. It's okay. <laughs> you can try again later. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> And then the last, the last, the last thing is that when you open it up, Jaron pointed this out, and I thought that was weird. Is that the left earphone is on the right, and the right earphone is on the left. That is definitely weird. That just kind of threw me. Jaron noticed that, and he was like, "Why would they do that? I don't know. Why do they do a lot of things?" But money, money, uh, money's why. Yeah. How would money affect that though? I don't know, but we're talking about it. Some way it does. They have cheap designers, and they don't want to spend more money on designing a better product. So could be that. So my rating right now is a six. Six out of ten. Six out of ten, and I'm going to try some new tips and Ma- see if that fixes the sound problem. Are so you, it could go up. It could go up if the sound it is fixed by the tips. Yeah, if it's go- because the connection, the connection um, was solid. The speed at connecting was solid. Mm-hmm. Um, the I I didn't have any drops like the Pamu scrolls were just constantly just dropping between them, um, and so these ones kind of fixed that for me. I still enjoyed. They're not waterproof. Like sweat resistant? No sweat resistance right? at all. Right, Jaron. Correct me if I'm wrong. You didn't see that in the list, right? I, I thought they had some like IPX4 or something. I didn't. I thought they did. Maybe they do. I thought they didn't. So, but mm. but I I, I my I, my jobbers do, and I really I use those, and I get yeah sweaty when I work out. So I, <laughs> you I don't, don't work I don't out. <laughs> I was, that, the, was that your humble brag way of no, just no, saying no. that you work out? Well, no, that was I'm him lying. No, no. I'm mow- <laughs> I was counting mowing. Gosh dang it! <laughs> Everybody, settle down. Settle down. <laughs> That's not. Doesn't feel good. Doesn't. They are water resistant, by they the are, way. They are water resistant. Okay. I knew it. But um, oh wait, that—that's the scroll. What are these called? These are the. These are the slides. The slides. Pamu slides. Slide. Anyway, uh, I mow the lawn, and that's exercise. Oh, in, okay. In this heat <laughs> and with my yard. So, I gotcha. So and uh, I do that once a week. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why so, did you well say that done. so defensively? I don't know. Because well I felt done, like I, need, I think I needed to. You, it's like you, you don't think we believe you. You sure showed me. Or, yeah, I exercised, <laughs> Tony, so shut your mouth. <laughs> your big red ginger mouth. IPX6. Wow. Oh, IPX6. That's actually pretty decent. Okay, well, they are then. But uh, I didn't wear them. I, d- I didn't wear them after after I couldn't get the seal. I couldn't yeah. hear. I couldn't hear over the mower. Yeah, that's no good. Then I was just like, I, d- I hear somebody. It's like somebody's yelling for me, which just gave me anxiety. Like one of my kids is like, help, help. <laughs> but <laughs> that was supposed to be a, but, an audio book. <laughs> yeah, but but it was just like it gave me. And so I need uh. the seal. I need to put the jobbers in to get the seal, so I can't hear my kids. Right. Even you, if they are screaming, you don't want to hear that. No, I'm mowing the lawn. Get that out of I'm here. I'm out of here. This is me time. This is, you know, I'm mowing the lawn. Don't get hurt. Guys, I'm going outside to work out. (laughs) Why do you think there (laughs) is... Go go for a quick, (laughs) mild-paced walk. Why do you think when there's nine... (laughs) Back and forth on the lawn. (laughs) When there's nine monkeys jumping on the bed, they didn't have a verse in there that dad came in during his hymn time. Yeah. So... That never happened. Hmm. Anyway... I'm gonna give him a six, and I'll try some. I'll try some new tips. And okay. See are we talking okay. about your kids or the tips right now? The kids. Oh, okay. Here, here are my fleeting thoughts on them. The 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 plastic felt medium good. It was it didn't feel cheap, but it wasn't great either. And uh, when I put them in my ears, I said, "These are the worst worst sounding earbuds I've ever put." That, that was the very first impression. Direct like, quote. These are, the ver- these are the worst sounding. I was like waiting. I'm like, I wonder if he's because I didn't want to say. Hey, these are the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> but when Jaren said it, I was like, oh, I feel better that I didn't oh, like them very much. Validation. Yeah. All right. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about real quick is uh, th- this affects um, the internet in general. Uh, due to the uh, events in the last few days with the shootings in Dayton, Ohio, and uh, El Paso, Texas, the website that the shooter in El Paso, Texas, used to dis- to uh, publicly announce his manifesto, 8chan, has basically gone down at this point. Everybody pulled support wait, from wait, that. Is there a difference between 8chan and 4chan? Yeah, 4chan was before 8chan. And the guy who invented... Eight, I read a couple articles about this. It's been pretty interesting. The guy that invented 8chan decided 4chan was to police the message boards too much. <laughs> and he wanted to have... Too much on 4chan. On 4chan, yeah. Wow. And he wanted to have a completely open message board system uh, where the, quote, freedom of speech, end quote, would be, uh, you know, not policed or anything like that. Well, the interesting thing about this recently is the guy that invented 4chan, he doesn't have anything to do with it anymore. He, he gave over all of his rights and everything like a couple years ago. But he called for 8chan to be shut down the day of the shootings when he found out that it had been posted on there. I, I saw somebody manifesto. tweet about this the other day that like, well, we did have the excuse of people were stupid because they didn't have access to information. So what's the excuse now? There's too much information? For for getting rid of 8chan or what? No, 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 no. Just the internet in general. So oh. the, you used to have like idiots that were just ignorant. Too much incorrect information. Oh, oh definitely. That's a good one. That's a good one. So, so the interesting thing about 8chan being pulled is... It, it's not that they turned the servers off or anything, but the company that they were using to protect 8chan servers from things like DDoS attacks, Cloudfire, pulled their support. Cloudflare. Yeah. Cloudflare, Cloudflare, excuse Flare. me, thank you. Pulled their support and said, we're no longer going to, to provide your security for your website, and immediately uh, 8chan servers were DDoSed. Yeah. And then another company came in. What um, is DDoS again? It stands for a denial, dedicated. dedicated denial of service attack, where basically someone takes uh, other servers and just has it. Uh, That's a question. Ask the hey. site they want to take down. Ask that site servers questions over and over and over again, as many times as it can, as fast as it can, so that it basically clogs that server's pipeline and they can't. They can't respond to actual requests. Can't respond to actual requests and brings the site down. Wow. And so after Cloudflare. Uh, removed their services. Another smaller company... Um, Voxility? Yeah, Voxility said, we'll use our services. We'll champion the right of freedom of speech. And then uh, the company that provides the services for Voxility... Pulled their support. Pulled their support <laughs> for this other company that, that they were buying, that they were providing services for 8chan. And so it went down again, so, which so, is great. So, so capitalism not to be defeated was like, ooh, Cloudflare... They're stepping away. This could be our big moment, boys. Meow. And then, and I think it's great. Uh, honestly, people. This this was interesting. I was reading about this. People. Some people were on the side of. There was two arguments to be made about why 8chan should be left up. One was freedom of speech. 
Well, let me tell you something. In my opinion, freedom of speech uh, does not apply to... Taking other people's freedoms away. Taking yeah, taking yes. other people's freedoms away, and also if you're not, uh, if if the things you're saying, you're hiding behind anonymous accounts. Yeah, that's not freedom of speech. That's hate speech from uh, the protection of the other side of your See, keyboard. See, and that's that's where it's because I wouldn't count myself as like a libertarian by any like stretch of the imagination. But like, there is an argument to be made about having a registered user profile when you use the internet, right? Now, and, I'm not advocating for that, but this is an argument for it. Right, and that's, so. and that's the thing. Freedom of speech originally was for, uh, you know, for people to gather publicly. You would see the face of the person who's talking, things like that. And when you're on a message board and you can hide behind some anonymous, anonymous, excuse me. You james it. I almost james it. I <laughs> caught myself. Some anonymous uh, screen name. I said it right the first time. I don't care. Uh, then that's not freedom. That's that's just that's being a someone being a dick. D bag. You yeah. know? It started with this whistleblower mentality. Like they they needed whistleblowers. Anonymous anonymous tips, right? Anonymous uh, communication is is essential. Like in our society, you need to be able to communicate without reprise, sure, uh, without fear of reprisal. But um, but the minute that that communication took it to like a personal social level. Where you don't have to be accountable, right? Uh, then you once you don't have to be accountable for the things you you say, especially it if becomes they, mob mentality. Especially if the things you say incite the removal of freedoms from other people. Yeah, which like in this case, the freedom to live. Yeah, you know, uh, and so yeah, that that's. I mean, I I am all for freedom of speech, but this this does not fall under the umbrella of freedom of speech. If so you ask is me. is HN down? Then they they're they, down. They closed right their doors now. and they gave oh, up. I don't or know they if they gave up. Service to come back. They're just waiting for uh, someone to provide the security they need, <laughs> so they quit getting DDoS. Mm. The other the other argument that uh, that was made, and this one was made a lot less, uh, you know, fervently, was um, some people were saying you need to keep it up so that you can patrol. 8 chan and kind of like so you can canary, see the people like a canary in like a, coal a canary mine. in a coal mine so you can see people's manifestos or whatever they're going to do before they actually do it cuz everyone always publishes their stuff where before in, they do it. but the, the where problem then they stop exactly right? the problem is they stop or Even it gets the mention of it or it gets it, filled with so many false positives that it doesn't matter right. anymore the problem is 8 chan's an echo chamber and it is it, it really is the 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 pro it'll, it'll just get amplified until it does happen so if all the echo chambers are gone is is it going to be as bad yeah, it's it's a good question. It's really a, a kind of a hairy topic that has never been. Uh, you, we've never had to confront anything like this until no. modern times. Well, like, it, it, like if now. you talk about echo chambers, though, I mean that goes for anywhere. I mean, you have veiled talks like this on Facebook, you know, and how are you going to break the algorithm of Facebook? Because from like a company's point of view, you want. That's why YouTube's new algorithm is uh, tailored towards longer videos. Is they don't want people to leave YouTube. So when you have like the Joe Rogans out there or the you know podcasts that post hour long shows, YouTube is more apt to push those kind of videos to you because you won't leave the site because you're watching these hour two hour sure. long videos. And I'm not saying that he's one way or the other. I'm just using him as an example for time. But his his podcasts are super long. Yeah, they're like three hours. Yeah, Joe Rogan's podcasts are way same long. with Dak Shepard. I do the same. Oh really? Like, oh yeah, yeah, armchair I'm, expert, armchair expert. Yeah, same, like three hours. I'm like, yeah, well, it's interesting enough. I'll I like him. It. His wife is really really pretty. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah, he's <laughs> funny I'm, and smart. James is an easy man to please. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought we should talk about that a little bit. And uh, honestly, I'm all for the death of 8chan. It is a cesspool. Did you ever use of, it? No, I've I've uh, only read about everything that goes on there. And now, and now with this 8chan manifesto and this shooting, around comes another round of politicians blaming video, video games. games for the violence. I was gonna, yeah, I was going to get to that, that in the next episode, how is that? actually. We'll, we'll we'll get to that in the next episode. Ooh, That's a sneak preview. Yeah, a teaser. Uh, that is but on the, the list. But in the same vein of like 8chan, do you remember when the fappening happened on Reddit? Mm. And then they took down all that stuff, and then a sister site went up called like VO4T, well, like sure. Vote. But that's the thing is but that eight, website eight is chan, garbage. 8chan is exactly that from 4chan. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Just like a split. It was a, a difference it, in a difference in so opinion. So the four yep. chan still exists. Yeah, yeah, four chan still there. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's the problem is is it does eventually uh, or has the potential to become a whack a mole, you know. 
someone's going to start another sign, another website, 12 Chan. It's or why I like whatever. It, it's 16 why I really, Chan. Well, it's why I really appreciate that Cloudflare did this because regardless of whatever whack a mole pops up, they need that security not right. to have the same thing happen to them. Right. Chan. And so it's good to see a little bit of corporate. Um, policing you know, at, at least morality yeah. you know corporate ethics coming in and saying you know we we draw a line yeah and that's even what though it, it's not profitable we draw a line and that's what it should be i mean we live in a capitalist uh country and and capitalism says it doesn't matter what they're doing as long as you're getting as your long as you're mail. getting money but if we can have maybe some morals come into play more yeah. often yeah. than you guys, not can we have a little bit of morals exactly please? to say okay Stopping this is more important than collecting my nineteen dollars a month from this website yeah. to provide their security. Hmm. So, anyway, yeah, and uh, we ended a little on a heavy note. Uh, one last thing we want to do: we already are over time, like we said we would be. But uh, let's talk about real quick the games that we were playing. Rimworld. This lack last still playing week. Rimworld. All right, James is still playing uh, Rimworld. Rimworld kind of guy. Yep. I thought we we're not talking about games we we're looking forward to. That'll I'm, be next week. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. So, uh, so James has been playing RimWorld. Still deep in RimWorld. Owen, you been playing anything, man? Uh, no. Okay. I didn't play. Well, this games. is this is going really <laughs> fast. It's perfect. I thought I was going to escape that with the shorter intro, and now <laughs> here I am, still feeling ashamed. Jaron, what have you been playing, man? Uh, Wolfenstein Two, so Ooh. I can get ready for Wolfenstein <gasps> Youngblood. I it, it's out already, but I'm waiting for the ray tracing what patch. Level, yes. What level are you on? Uh, I just got to New York. Ooh, Ooh the bombed out New York. Actually, I just left New York. Okay, yeah. yeah. That was a really cool area. Mm-hmm. How much of the story do you know? Uh, up to New York. Up to New York. <laughs> but you don't. You didn't have anything spoiled for you? Yeah. I accidentally overheard Tony Not talking yet. to some of the Geek Show guys about it. Don't tell me Remember anything. The, uh, sh- sh- oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I skipped one. I played a few levels of one, but I'm like, I, I want to play two. It runs so well it's on very, my PC. Very, very well optimized PC how, cra- how crazy was that one part where it's like the... the, the <laughs> oh, yeah. Blew my mind. Yeah, right? C- completely maxed out settings at 4K <laughs> resolution, 144 hertz. That's crazy. Per second. It, now, it, it's are, you actually, are you using the variable uh, shading? So I am using the Ultimate Game Pass. And so it's a Windows... Um, what, mm. what, what's that style of app? Are you sure it's a... It, it's, the, it's a Windows Store app. And so... It's not a .exe? It, I don't think so. Because... Variable playing, rate shading is not in there. Oh, because I'm playing. I looked for it. I'm playing uh, Void Bastards, which is one of the games I'm playing lately from the Windows Store, the Ultimate mm-hmm. Pass, but it's it's an EXE. Huh. Like well, a, e- e- either way, the variable rate shading is not there. Ah, uh, bummer. I've looked for it many times, but it's not like I need it because it already runs so well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. When you're already maxing out your monitor's capabilities. Yep. And then I played some uh, Black Ops 4 and Apex Legends with Tony. That was fun. Indeed, that was good times. Uh, I still so, got to play that game, Apex Legends. It's fun, man. They, they, they've added uh, hit points when you shoot somebody. Yeah, you Ooh. know. It, it's really satisfying now. You know a little I bit like better it. how much like, damage you're doing. You're like, than... I got that guy. That wasn't the other guy's kill. I did that. Exactly. I brought him down 84%. Yep, that guy only cleaned up the last 16. Even, yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's, exact, that's exactly what happened. Tony yep. brought, brought down 380 damage. I only had 50 damage, but I had a kill. <laughs> Tony did not. Yeah, it's Even a bunch you of played horse that pucky. Game? I have not. Oh. He's Thanks, just giving an example. You just make me feel bad? No, you made me feel bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Even you. So yeah, what was that supposed to mean? I played I some uh, multiplayer action with Jaron on those two games, uh, and then I've been playing uh, Void Bastards. A lot of fun. You should really give that game a shot if you have Ultimate Game Pass. Um, it's it's uh, indie style first per like it was made by an indie team, but it's first person shooter roguelite, and it's a lot of fun. Really funny too. A lot of funny one liners and stuff. And then uh, I'm about halfway through Watch Dogs 2, and that's been pretty good. That game has never interested me. It's actually I'm with Jared It's on actually that. quite interesting because you play a part of a... Just because you say it doesn't mean it's so. Huh. Yes, it does. Oh, okay. <laughs> you play a character who's part of a hacker group that uh, is trying to uh, take down the companies that uh, run the cities. This is like near future kind of a setting. And these companies that have their their OS and everything that uh, runs all the IoT stuff and their kind of corporate overlord style way of doing things. Anyway, Watch Dogs 2 is uh, pretty good. Playing, really, on, playing that on PC? Yeah, playing it on PC. Graphics are actually better than I thought they'd be since the game is like two plus years old and uh, runs pretty good. Well, Does, definitely doesn't run as hard as Assassin's Creed Odyssey. That game is so oh, taxing. Yeah. Oh, it, my gosh. It's, it's sluggish. Yeah, but is that game fun, though? 
Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah. Any um, crossovers with like God of War? I haven't. I've only played about an hour and a half into that one back when I was testing it out for Google Stadia, I which put, it, I, it, sorry, go ahead. It ran terribly. Yeah, I did. <laughs> but uh, I, I really liked the idea of it. Um, I plan on playing it probably after Watch Dogs Two. I put about two and a half hours into it. It's it's fun. I like it. But I'm gonna wait for my new processor to come. Yeah, that will definitely help. Yeah. Did you get um, the Did you get the new one? The 39. I'm going. I'll I'll probably get the 3950, mm. the 16 core. Oh yeah. That won't be out till September. Yeah. I'm looking at that as well. I want to. All right. Uh, that's it. We went. We went 10 minutes longer than we said we were going to. That's Woo-hoo! all right. It's we okay. made it. We yeah. did it. Shoot for the stars and we're, land on the moon. We're going to record another episode, so you have one next week, dear listener. Thanks for listening to the end of this one. Owen, why don't you take us out? Hey, we hope you care. Gadget spot.